Um, I'm like literally hopping around between like my camera and using my mic and using just filming on my phone and natural lighting. <laughs> it's like getting very confusing. Um, if you want the regular setup, just let me know. So today I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on like an up close. I wanted to do like an up close and detailed eye tutorial of what I call a split wing. Uh, not something new to anyone really. You've probably seen this everywhere. I just, I haven't done it, so I wanna do it. <laughs> and I don't know if other people call it a split wing, so. Love having, love having creases, love it. So I'm gonna start off by defining my crease with any neutral color. This is just to ground my eyeshadow look. Push this area back in space. Using a smaller smudgy brush, I'm going to run that underneath my lower lash line. Once again, just to add a little bit of definition, but I'm focusing it on the outer corner of the eye. Starting on the outer corner and then slowly blending in and a little bit down. For this next part, you can use a liquid liner, you can use a cream gel liner, you can use a powder, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna start off with a powder and I'm going to be using the Sigma Dream Brow. This is actually an angled brow brush. And I'm gonna pick up a black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start by sketching out a wing with that black eyeshadow. I'm gonna tap the rest of that shadow along my lash line. I prefer keeping my wings nice and thin because I like to think of them as an extension of my eyelashes. For added definition, I'm gonna go in with my Hindash liquid eyeliner and I'm going to basically like trace within that line. All right, I'm using that same angled brush and I'm using that same black eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is, since we use this as kind of like an extension of our eyelashes on the top, I'm gonna to think about it the same way, but in reverse or flipped horizontally on my lower lash line. So I'm going to kind of create like a lower lash line wing. So right on the outer corner, and I want this to be like nice and light. I don't want it to be quite as big as the one that I did on the top. And if you feel like you went down with like a little too much, you can kind of just like wipe off your brush on a paper towel and then slowly drag that powder out. Kind of like a fishtail. So now that I have that line created, I'm gonna kind of like drag it back. So it's basically like an upside down wing. All right, and then from here, you can decide whether or not you want to smoke it out or keep it like nice and defined, like the top lash. You can also go in with a little winged liner, obviously, it depends on how soft you want it. This is the Ruffer 23 brush and it's super duper tiny. So I'm gonna use this to kind of like buff underneath it so that I can kind of soften the under part and then marry this part with that first shadow that we put down so that it doesn't look completely disconnected. All right, so here is the finished look with mascara. So you're basically treating it as an extension of your lash line, just like a wing liner, like on the top lash line is kind of like that. It's sort of like an extension of your lashes. Uh, you're doing the same thing on your lower lash line. So I just call it like a split wing, looks like a little fishtail. <laughs> um, I'll insert a photo of using like a color closer to like the color that I used in my crease or like a contour shade 
which would be really nice. It kind of creates like a little bit more of a shadow. So it's not quite as obvious. It's like a little bit of a Marilyn Monroe kind of effect, effect, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you try it and if you're into it. And um, that's literally it. Let me know what other eyeliner things you want to see, I guess. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.